Welcome back, challengers, to NW3C's Daily Capture the Flight Challenge. Today, we're going to do a three-part question, starting with The Rock. So, if we go up to Challenges, we're going to have to go to our Retired section. And when we scroll down, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find The Rock. So, go ahead and click on The Rock. And when we click on that, it says, Download and use the Instagram post.tar file and use it to answer the three questions for today. What is the URL of the Save Web page? So we have a file with an MD5 hash value provided. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our command terminal or whatever we're going to use to hash it. I'm using terminal on my Mac. I'm typing in the MD5 command, simply dragging and dropping that file on there. Once I do that and hit enter, I have my hash value and I can confirm it indeed does match. 888-EF65. So we do have the right file. So... Let's dig into this file. I'm going to double click on the tar file. When I do that, it's going to uncompress and I can see in it, I have an MHTML file. That's a single web page ar archive file. And as we can see, we have the rock on Instagram, the hierarchy of the power of the DC universe, etc. A lot of people were using this as the URL because as you can see up in the very top there, that's what shows up, but it is just the rocks profile or a picture post on his Instagram profile. Now, all your web browsers usually have something that gives you a bit more information and it's called this viewing the source code. So in Safari, I go to developer and I say view source and I can go down through this and I see a lot of different kind of color coding and things like this. This is where you actually have to do a little research to know what you're looking at. But on the title there, that's what people were putting as the URL. So if I scroll down even further, I'll eventually get to a point where it actually says Android URL, I can see alternate right there below it, but Instagram.com, and then we have the B starting with BB. If I scroll down further, it looks like I have information about the file itself, and that doesn't appear to be very long. So for me, I want to actually look at this in a text editing program, and I use BB Edit on my Mac. And as I can see here, it says, this was a snapshot and the content location is www.instagram.com forward slash p forward slash b a j etc. That is our URL. We can also see the content location there as well. Notice this is a little bit more cleaned up as well. So if I go down, I can see even more color coding. And if I go down, it looks like on this scroll bar, I'm going a lot further and I have what looks to be base 64 information there. And we'll get into that in just a minute. So it looks like looking at this a text header as opposed to just reviewing the source code through Chrome, I get a bit more information. So that was the answer for our first question. Let's look at Baba Con Baba Joe. It said, when did Baba Con Baba Joe comment on the post? 24 hour UTC flag format of year, month, date, hour, minute, second. So let's try this again. We'll go back to the source code. And in the source code, obviously, uh, if I looked at the picture itself, I can see that there is a Bapa Kam Papa Joe, and he commented with a thumbs up, para para, one week. Now I see that this is February 4th. Now I can't really get a good time on there. And one thing that we don't, or a lot of people don't know is in Instagram, we can get some exact dates and times on when people are commenting. So what I want to do is use the find feature that we'll find in our various tools and I need to move this over so I can spell this right but I can see Baba Khan Baba Joe and I'll hit next and if I scroll down it says the first hit to it says there's information about the person's name I can see maybe a URL I can even see the pair of pair and what could be possibly the thumbs up and if I scroll down just a little bit more I can see that there is a date and time right there for for 2 2020 and the time says 53517.000z z for zulu as you can see that was posted on april 2nd 2020 so february april 2nd not very good when we're looking at one week you do have to take out that equal sign there though in order to get the right time so there is our time as we can see once we take out that equal some people are putting the equal in there make sure you take that out Let's look at the third question, added data. There is a picture inside the file that Instagram has embedded. It has two words approximately in the middle surrounded by other images or icons. They both start with the letter F. What are the two words in order starting with the one on top? So with that, 
I know, as I said, there's some base 64 encoded information. That's when we start going from the full on color coding to black. And then we'll notice that we actually have information that is lined up on the sides there. And if we get to the top of one of those, we see image, dot, image slash JPEG base 64 and we scroll down. Now I know I'm looking for a PNG file, so I know right where to go. But for many people, you may carve each one of these pictures out manually. Maybe you use some sort of file parser or data carver. There's a program called File Juicer on a Mac. You might have used that. But we get down and I can see that the first PNG here is a little bit short. It's in base 64 information. It's very short, but then there's the next one down there. There is a URL there, but to make things a little bit harder, we changed the URL from a one X right in the middle or from a two X to a one X. We did that basically so that people would not be carving out or going to the live web page. You should be carving out the information. Web page changes, changes instantaneously it could be different at any point. So you can never really verify that that's exactly what somebody was looking at at that proper time. So if you have the information here, what you want to do is carve it out. Now I've copied all that information out and I put it into a Word document here. Let me select everything and I'll copy it. Once I copy that, I'm going to go over to our website of CyberChef that we've been using for a lot of the challenges. I'm going to try to paste that. This isn't working on right click, so I'll just hit a command V. And notice I have pasted data in there and it says PNG. Now I did that all up front because there's about five, 6,000 lines and I'd be scrolling for a while, which would make this video very long. So let's save this and call it addeddata.png file. Once I save that, I'm going to go down to my downloads folder and I can see a whole lot of icons right in the middle there. I see a word from and then Facebook. There's our two F words, one on top of the other, surrounded by images and icons. Hopefully you found that wasn't too hard. You didn't have to decode too much stuff, but you could have decoded each one of those pictures. Thanks for playing. I appreciate it. See you on the next challenge.